On Thursday, February 18th, the sun will be leaving this Aquarian energy and moving into Pisces season. I say that with dramatic effect because Pisces season is not a favorable time for many people. Why is that? Well, Pisces is the 12th zodiac sign. It is the last house in the chart, the cosmic chart. It is the space in which we go to, to sit with ourselves, to sit in our darkness, to find our connection back to spirit, to find our new truth, to do karmic healing work. And it is a very emotionally hypersensitive time because Pisces is a water sign. We have to talk about the fact that Pisces energy is about undoing what it is that we've created that is no longer in alignment with our soul. Pisces energy has no boundaries. It is when we become connected to everything, everyone, and everything that we don't even know about out in the cosmos. It is a very overwhelming, emotional, intense time, and that's why most people don't like it. To give you an analogy... After Pisces season comes Aries season. That is essentially the brand new year of the astrological calendar. And before we can get life started again, we have to go through the darkness. We have to purge. We have to end. We have to put closures in place. And that's why Piscean energy is so intense and so unfavored by the majority of people. This takes us into our inner worlds. We're very introspective. We're very committed to our own healing at this time. We tend to lose ourselves in imaginary land, in our dream work. And a lot of that is due to the fact that Piscean energy does not like to be connected to reality. They are the escapists of the Zodiac. They would rather live in imaginary land than actually live in this physical realm. This doesn't need to be a bad thing, though, as long as it's the energy is used for good. This is a time when we can move into our imaginations, when we can reconnect to our creativity. This is a prime time for the poets, for the writers, for the artists of the world. And as long as we don't escape too far in our imaginary land, we do have the ability to tap into some very intense and heavy feelings, transmitting them into a higher frequency, where, of course, releasing them through words, you know, writing poetry, music, all of that jazz, the creative art form, whichever medium you find to be more in alignment with your calling, that's when we get to bring the darkness out and turn it into a source of light. That's why a lot of people don't like Pisces season because we're all up in our feels. We are hypersensitive because we're connected to everything, picking up on all the empathetic, subtle energies of the world. Our intuition is heightened, but it's also very confused. It wants us to reconnect with our spirit, with our karma, but it also brings out our shadow selves, those darker parts of us that just don't want to seem to be healed. And because we are in an ending, a closure of sorts, it can be a very bittersweet thing. Most of us know that we have to make some serious changes in our world because we've been praying for a situation that can't happen unless we create space for it. But again, letting go of some comfortability, some familiarity, some, you know, really karmic chapters, although we know we have to do it, although we know we're going to be better off for it, it can be very hard to let those things go. So what Pisces season wants to show us is that we have to go with the flow. There are patterns and synchronicities and beautiful waves of learning that happen in the natural law of the universe and learning to go with the flow, learning to surrender to life situations, to our karmic chapters and lessons is absolutely the biggest tough love life lesson that Pisces season will bring to us. We tend to get a little bit lost in Pisces season. Everything seems to be falling apart. We don't have a vision. We're not sure of anything that is highly likely going to happen again. That is supposed to happen. It is the process and the progress 
of the evolution of our souls. We have to go through this. What we need to know is there is a light at the end of the tunnel. It's called airy season, and we will get there when the cosmos wants us to get there. But we can't just escape the life lessons that Pisces season wants us to learn. We have to integrate it. We have to process it. We have to live in it, live through it. And although we tend to be very unfocused and very unproductive, why? Because we're all up in our mental planes. We're in and out of imaginary land. We have a hard time focusing in on the details. And that's why I stated earlier, we might still have a very long to-do list by the time the end of February comes because it's not a time to be productive. It is not a time of action. It is a time of thinking, a time of feeling, a time of processing, a time of healing. So go with the flow.